All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use a tool called Chat PDF to summarize any research article. Maybe the statistics are a little bit above your head. Maybe you're a bit crunched for time. I'm going to show you how to do this. So you're going to start, the way I prefer to start is have chatpdf.com pulled up and have googlescholarbook.com pulled up. Now, in a previous video, I already showed you how to link your institution's library database to Google Scholar, because I don't know about you, but our library online searches are not always the, best, the most user friendly. So I have this linked to the two different uh, universities that I teach at. So let's say I want to study about jealousy and romantic relationships. Okay, back on my Google Scholar homepage, I type in jealousy and romantic relationships. And I see, okay, here's an article that would be available to me at one of my institutions, full text at GCCAZ. So I'm going to click this. It's going to redirect me and do its whole thing. Okay, and now I have a PDF. Now, for the purposes of this example, I've already gone ahead and downloaded it. But the way you would get this downloaded to your computer is just click this little download arrow right here, and it's going to give you the option for what you want to name it, things of that nature. Okay, so now we're going to come over here to chat PDF. And we're going to drop our PDF here. Or you can just click it and sample article. Now you're going to get a little welcome chat. This is a helpful file. It's going to summarize what are some of the research questions that it asked. You have to tell it what you want to summarize. So for example, move this guy out of the way. You might ask it, what were the significant findings in this study? Now, it won't specifically tell you which findings were statistically significant, but it will tell you here were some of the associations that were found. And it'll give you a link. So if you click over here to page 17, it'll say, here's how I'm summarizing the findings on page 17. And here's where it actually was. But this is why you need to double check it, right? Because this is actually giving you a limitation rather than a finding. What were the key results of this study? And now it's going to give you a little bit different of an information. So playing around with the wording is really important. Um, relational uncertainty and intimacy were uniquely tied to jealousy. And you can click and it's going to go to your discussion section. Now this one is giving you one actually within your results. So you can look over here to try to find which ones were statistically significant. So it found that there were some negative correlations and some positive correlations. You can also ask it which statistical analyses did this study use? And it'll tell you it used structural equation modeling it used bivariate correlations, and it mentioned a maximum likelihood estimation. And again, you can click on each of these to see where in the article these were mentioned. What was the, whoops, the sample for this study? And it'll give you a summary of the sample. Were there any gender differences found in this study? And you can keep going and asking it questions. Um, and it'll keep giving you links to where in the study you need to go back to. Now, again, always remember to double check what it is telling you. Don't just take it at face value because it can make mistakes. But this is a great tool if maybe some of the statistics were a little bit over your head or if maybe you're wanting to see were there findings 
from this that I could be relevant for me to use for my project. This can be a great way to make an article a little more readable if it's covering some statistics that maybe you haven't gone over yet in your statistics class or that you might need a little bit of a refresher from. And that is this helpful AI tool for summarizing a research article in a way that you can understand.